From discussions of another brawl between two sensational knockout artists to Max quickly changing his mind about a rematch against the Notorious, it's possible fight fans might just see Conor McGregor and Max Holloway square off again. But why is there so much interest in a rematch all of a sudden? Well, believe it or not, they actually have quite the rivalry. Of course, it isn't something like McGregor vs. Khabib, but still, both these fighters want to be known as the deadliest knockout artist at the promotion. And since there can only be one, they're often going back and forth about who's the better striker. McGregor, on one hand, has proved numerous times that he's a tactical genius at folding his opponents. How can fight fans forget his once-in-a-lifetime performances against Jose Aldo and Eddie Alvarez? Granted, his bout against Aldo was a quick one, but the way he executed that punch was jaw-dropping. Same with Eddie. It was nothing short of a brawl with Connor absolutely schooling his opponent. Max, on the other hand, claims to be the greatest boxer in UFC history, and if I'm being honest, he does have the credentials to back that statement up. And since he got outclassed the first time they fought, I think he probably wants to prove once and for all that he is, in fact, the better fighter, the better striker, and a better showman. Again, there's no denying Connor has achieved more than Holloway, but if I'm talking about performances inside the cage, Max has achieved his fair share of greatness. And for now, I think the main reason why Holloway is so eager to score a rematch is because he wants to settle the matter. He doesn't want to have his claims of being the best boxer at the UFC tarnished by that one performance 10 years ago. But you're probably thinking, why all the commotion? And that too, so suddenly? Well, let's talk about their first meeting inside the cage. Both of these guys were relatively inexperienced the first time they took each other on inside the octagon. Believe it or not, no one really knew Connor at that time since it was just his second fight at the promotion. And while he's gone to become an absolute legend of the sport, it's difficult to ignore the impact Holloway has had on the game. Sure, Max might have not been able to become the biggest name in the MMA world, but if I'm talking about overall dominance, he's definitely up there with the big boys. But all those skills weren't actually present the first time he took on the notorious Conor McGregor. And what's funny is, despite both of these gentlemen being natural strikers, much of that fight was fought on the ground. I mean, the fans knew McGregor is a hotshot who happens to be really good with his fists, but grappling? That was a first for everyone. The Irishman attempted five takedowns that night, and guess what? He had an impressive 80% accuracy as he managed to take Max down four successful times. Even in the striking department, Holloway was nowhere to be seen as he had a measly 32 strikes compared to McGregor's 72. So, yeah, if I had to sum it up, the Notorious dominated the first meeting. He showed Holloway who's boss, and like I said before, the Blessed is up there with everyone else, but going back 10 years, he didn't even come close to the Irishman. Plus, did you know that's the only fight where Connor couldn't get a finish? Yep. It's true, McGregor might not have been able to keep his winning ways alive in his last few fights, but every single victory has come via knockout. It's an exceptional feat when you think about it, but that's not the case with Holloway. Despite being bombarded with 72 strikes in three rounds, Max managed to go the distance giving Connor a serious run for his money. And I know what you're thinking right now. How was it even a close battle if the Irishman won by a unanimous decision? Well, look at it this way. That was vintage Connor back then. It was before the money and the fame. And trust me when I say this, that Connor was a different breed. He was unforgiving in his approach, and while he's still like that with the mic, his fighting skills have sort of taken a hit. But yeah, this is the basis of a potential rematch. The first one is their rivalry over who's the better striker, and the second is the way things played out that night. Also, Connor sort of has the upper hand in this situation. It was actually Max who initiated talks for a potential rematch. And judging from his recent statements, he seems super eager to get things underway. He's willing to fight the Irishman at any weight. Or in other words, if it ever does happen, it's going to be an open weight fight. Mainly because Connor has packed on an insane amount of muscle. But let's look at things from a different perspective for a second. Is this just Holloway's attempt to retire with a golden paycheck? I mean, there's no denying Mystic Mac is still the money fight at this point. Even Michael Chandler has made it super clear that apart from the challenge, he wants the Connor fight because it's set to make a lot of money. Plus, I'm not sure if you've heard or not, but Holloway has grand plans for the potential rematch. He wants it to go down in his backyard in Hawaii. And since the boss has always been interested in taking the game to the islands, there's a possibility the fight might just happen since it's an awesome storyline. 
But from what's going around, both sides have failed to reach a financial agreement. And that was bound to happen since it's difficult to negotiate with someone like Connor. Oh, and speaking of Michael Chandler, the Irishman is set to take him on for his highly anticipated return to the cage. And since both of them starred as coaches on The Ultimate Fighter, that's probably going to happen first before fight fans hear anything about Conor McGregor versus Max Holloway too. But the duo has been exchanging words on Twitter, and from the looks of it, Conor has given Max the green signal that it will happen before he retires. And what's funny is, Holloway changes his mind about McGregor every single day. I'll get to that in a bit, but first, I just want to quickly point out that Connor has said the same thing about a Nate Diaz trilogy as well. It'll happen before I retire. So while I want to see both these fights happen, I'd advise fight fans to stay realistic since Connor still hasn't been cleared by USADA yet. And speaking of staying realistic, the fight will never be sanctioned if Connor doesn't shed weight. We all know the Irishman has packed on an insane amount of muscle during his time away from the game. And now that he's finally healed that broken leg of his, he's been shedding weight. But if you ask me, I still think he's well over 170 pounds. And for his comeback fight against Chandler, I've heard that the Notorious wants to compete in that respective weight class. So, if the deal ever does get finalized, would the UFC ever let a matchup like that happen? I mean, just think about it. You have a fighter who's mostly competed at 145 going up against someone who not only has multi-divisional experience, but will also be an odd 20 to 25-ish pounds heavier than him. It would be nothing short of a massacre since the weight difference would give McGregor a huge advantage. So take it from me. If this fight truly is in the books, Max will have to make serious adjustments, with the first one being packing on weight to lessen the difference. So yeah, accepting fights on Twitter is one thing, but whether it'll actually happen is a bit far-fetched at this point. But who knows, Uncle Dana is ultimately a businessman who wants big profits, and what better way to bring them in than a fight in Hawaii? Also, let's hope Max doesn't backtrack now. Along with being super interesting, the evolution of their rivalry has been hysterical. Holloway has backtracked so many times now that I can't even keep count. I remember a couple of months back when he talked about how Connor should just retire at this point since he has no future left in fighting. Rewind to about a month back when reporters asked him about a rematch and he said he doesn't want to kick the dog when it's already down. I mean, that's a pretty controversial statement to be honest. And finally, just two weeks back, he was all stoked for a potential rematch against the Irishman. I guess he's finally understood that about featuring Connor would make anyone millions. So why not it be him who cashes in? Still, a fight between these two titans would be awesome and don't get me wrong, I have the utmost respect for both of them. But they're sort of worn out now. So at the end of the day, it's a pretty fair battle, and I'm sure they'll be after fireworks now since it's all about giving the fans what they want. Anyway, from Holloway's mixed emotions about a rematch, to their legendary first meeting inside the Octagon, that's everything about Max Holloway vs Conor McGregor too.